We're going to have them every week because we always get the biggest crowd of the year when you guys are here. So thank you. Is it too hot up here? So we're through then. Goodbye. No, just kidding. Um, thanks for being at Live Lunch Break. I'm Rick Coster from The Day. We're stream at theday.com. If you haven't already discovered, Supreme Hot Dogs is out there. In the words of Confederacy of Dunces, they're savory. Of course, there's beer and wine for sale there, too. Sue, thank you guys for being here. Thank you for having us, Rick, again. Again. We've got Don back here on guitar with the Alvin Lee style <laughs> hollow body. Kevin's on drums. Hi, Kevin. And Dave with the jazz bass that I plan on stealing as soon as he's looking in the other direction. So, you guys uh, picked up a Whaley Award. Uh, yeah, it was a back. surprise because we it? weren't here. It was, it was The ceremony was right here and we weren't here. Y'all were playing. Because I saw you earlier that day over at uh, Mystic, Old Mystic Village. That's correct. So, I've never won anything in my life, but I think if I won something, I'd want to be there to get the trophy. But you've already got trophies and stuff, right? This is my second, our second Whaley, yes. Where do you keep them? In the basement. <laughs> it's a nice basement. It's a nice, it's a finished basement. It's like, yeah, there's books and movies and stuff down there. <laughs> Um, you played material from all of your recordings so far, including The Good Sponge, which makes me think you're recording a next album, right? Yeah, we're on our fourth album. Yes, we're recording. Where are you doing it? We're doing it in North Stonington in a basement. Where the trophies are? It's a different basement. <laughs> What's this deal with basements? They're cool. <laughs> you can put all your stuff down there. You know, and not uh, noisy. Yeah. All right, fair enough. Any timetable on this? No. <laughs> fair enough. <laughs> Five years? Um, you guys have been doing this a long time. You're clearly one of the most popular acts in the region. How hard is it to sustain this? It's wicked hard, Rick. Tell me about that. <laughs> So if, if you're playing in an area all the time, people can't always go see you. So sometimes we only have five people at our shows. Today there's hundreds and hundreds. Literally um, thousands, I believe. But if you go on tour to go play somewhere else, you have to have the gas money and the hotel money and the food money, and there's never enough money. So it's a catch-22. You stay home and play for the same people, or you go bankrupt. <laughs> or sometimes you risk the chance of oversaturation if you work so many clubs in the, right. in the same area. So, But what has impressed me most is that, look, we do have this crowd here, so you're sustaining it. Having been through everything that you're going through and talk about how difficult it is, is it nurturing to look out here and see people? It's awesome, especially when they have big hot dogs in their hands. <laughs> I'm not even going anywhere near that one. Uh, Supreme Hot Dog does a great job. They do, and every, everyone in the band ate a hot dog except you, right? I would be burping up the hot dog if I had a hot dog. <laughs> no, because of the singing and the breathing and yes, the right. gasping. And the right. Um, <laughs> Over the years, what has changed about, like, because, like, when you're young and you're in a band, you can go 24-7, subsisting on Fritos, crack pipe, uh, no, not that. But as you get older, and you're, you're still youthful and lovely, but things go, we go down the road of time. Do you have to take better care of yourself? Yes, this will all be outlined in my upcoming book. Um, I am writing a book about 30 years of torture in the music business wow. and so a lot of the aches and pains that I never used to have I get like I'm getting one right now but the other night when we played a four-hour show forget about it I could not walk for a week really yeah now you are in fact writing a memoir and it's sort of a it's gonna be funny because you got a lot of good road stories and it's also instructional right like how, yes how you, it's, it's a how-to not succeed in the music business. 
I think that is a very relative term. I mean, you got to be really lucky. It's not enough to be good, right? You got to no, have some you have luck. No, it's all, it's all luck as far as and, I'm concerned. I mean, I think a lot of people would say there's out there's 50 U2s. We just don't know about it. We know about one of them and not the 49 other, right? That's right. And I so. even talk about U2 in the book. How did you know that? I have, your publisher sent me an advanced copy of it. So when do you think that's going to be ready? Very soon. I've been working on it for four years, and I've been laughing at it myself for long enough. I think it's an interesting dynamic to shift from music to like narrative prose. There's a rhythm involved, there's a tone. Was that hard for you? No. Good enough. <laughs> the only thing that's hard is um, getting someone to read it and tell me, why are you doing that? But I'll, bet, I'll bet you find somebody. All right. Okay, listen, I have blathered long enough would y'all like to hear some more of the Sue Menhart band? And thank you so much for being at Live Lunch Break. Thank you, guys. And this is Rick's favorite song. He says of ours. I ain't spend the lonely night in so long. Yeah.
you. I want to give a shout out to all of my day job co-workers. John, Tammy, Gabe, Kyle, Mary, Steve, thanks for coming out and escaping the prison. We work at a really great place across the river. All right, this is a song off of the new album that is not done yet. Any day now. Rich Martin, number one, for letting us play in this wonderful park. Number two, for running the sound today. Number three, for having beer and wine for when I'm done. And number four, for saving the Whaley Award for us so we could get it a month later. But thank you. <laughs> I wrote this song when I was in New York City. It was raining and I was drinking, but I couldn't feel the rain, so I went to a bar, another bar, 
and wrote this song. Thirsty and alone, dried up and trying to get home, like some old home troubadour, and I can't feel the rain. This is another one that's going to be on the new album. It's about going to prison.
Thank you so much. This one is audience participation. What row? She's got it. than the Sue Menhart now. What's better? Ask her a question. We don't know. Um, $100 for not. Uh, uh, yeah. We do have uh, CDs for sale over there. You want to do another song?
What do you guys think? Should the Sue Menard Band play one more? I think they, they've earned it, right? Yeah, absolutely. This is for the guy at the tool belt.
you feel it? Feel it? And Sue, thank you guys for being at Live Lunch Break. I'm Rick Coster. Thanks to Rich and Matt getting the sound right in the house. And we'll see you next week. We've got the original singers here. Have a safe day.